Hi, thank you for joining me. My name's Esther, but you might know me better as Mongoose Paints. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll be familiar with my painting style. But a lot of you have asked if I would help you to start on your painting journey too. So in this series, I'll be showing you some of the materials I use and a few little tips and tricks to get you going. So I thought I'd show you a little selection of the brushes that I use for different paintings. So we'll start with these. These are the ones I use for my watercolour um, or watery ink paintings. As you can see, I've got quite a selection here. Um, this is just a small number of uh, my brushes because I must admit, I have quite a lot. There's just nothing more joyful than new brushes, in my opinion. Anyway, um, we'll start with this one. This one is a triple zero. Uh, as you can see, very, very fine. This is brilliant for getting really, really fine detail. Um, obviously, the smaller the tip, the less paint that it holds. So you do need to re sort of reload your brush more often with this. But I just love how fine I can get the detail. This particular brush is actually one that I used at school. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how old it is, but it's old. Um, but it just goes to show that actually, if you look after your brushes, there's no reason why they can't last you a long time. We've got varying sizes. These are round brushes and then I've got some flat brushes. This one, for example, is really nicely um, sharp flat brush, holds a fair amount of paint. And this is great for things like if you want to do individual bricks on something, um, just because it's just a one sort of one sweep uh, brush there and you can get some really interesting details. They go all the way up to this size and beyond actually, I just uh, prefer to stick with, with the smaller brushes. Um, but this is good if you want to do a, a, a nice wet sort of wash across something um, just to get a really broad uh, sort of load of colour onto your paper. So those are the different uh, different details I would say. Um, probably if you want to do more detailed work, I would recommend the round brushes. And if you want to do the more washy, impressionist uh, type work, then I would recommend getting some larger brushes just because then you won't need to reload the paint quite so much. So that's just a small selection of those. Now move on to these. These are the ones I use for water, uh, sorry, not watercolor, for acrylic. Um, now the first thing you'll notice is they're much, much longer. This is because you can use these working at an easel and you can stand further away. By holding the brush at this end, you can get lots of movement and expression in your brush strokes. But equally, I can hold it right up here, get a bit choked up on it and, and get some more detailed um, work, work done. Um, now again, I've just given you a small selection of sizes here but you can see that I generally work in the sort of squarer ended brushes. This is actually called a bright brush. I got these ones from Jackson's Art. I really like Jackson's and um, they're really good quality but they're also quite affordable. And um, these are much stiffer than the watercolour. Watercolour brushes are very soft and pliable. These have got a, a lot more stiffness to them so that you can use them. You can get quite a sharp edge when, once they're wet. It will go to quite a sharp edge. So you can use them on the tip or you can use them on sideways or you can use them the full width. So there's lots of different, uh, different brush strokes that you can get just with one product there. So I like this if I'm working on a large piece. I'll generally stick to just the one size brush because I can do the, the larger details with it that way and now I can even do the teeny little details that way. And by keeping to the one brush, I find my work stays a lot looser um, and a lot more impressionistic, which is what I like because I'm not just constantly overthinking it and, and contemplating which brush to use. However, if I want to do a smaller piece or I do want to work on some more detailed, finer areas, I can go down to this size or even this teeny tiny one, which is brilliant for just doing um, tiny little outlines. And again, like I said, can go to a really sharp point there. So I can use it just on the very corner and it's like using the finest brushes. So those are all bright brushes. This one is called a filbert brush, which has a rounded edge. And I find that that's quite nice if I want to do softer edges um, for more natural uh, 
different sort of um, details. So that's just a brief overview of, uh, of the brushes that I like to use. Um, depending on obviously the type of paints that you want to work on, go and have a little look, see what you can find in your local art shop. Take care, see you next week. <laughs>